So in this case, I am going to start with the batter side of the drum. I'm going to put the batter head on instead of the resonating head. And uh, talk to you guys a little bit about that. Set that up here for just a second. And grab the hoop. Now the difference between the hoops on the tom-toms and the bass drum here is kind of obvious. This is a wooden hoop as opposed to a metal hoop. And on the wooden hoops, there's two sides to it. We've got a flat side and a rounded side. Now, the flat side sets up against the drum head. Um, the rounded side goes towards the outside. And that gives us a good seat between the, the hoop and the head. And then also, on our claws and our lugs here, on the claw, we have this piece of rubber that's built in. And uh, it's really nice because these are nice wooden hoops. They match the drum, they look really good, and we want to keep them looking good. So they've put these rubber grommets in there so they don't you know, mar up the bass drum hoop. So these are real nice. We want to make sure that each one of these claws has a piece of rubber in it when we you know, are putting it together. Before I put the drum together, I want to point something out on this particular drum head. Uh, I'll talk to you about it while I'm putting it together. But we have a built-in felt ring on this particular bass drum head. Uh, it's made by Aquarian, and this one's called the Super Kick 3. Now, the reason that I like that and that I use this particular drum head is because bass drums are a big instrument. In this case, it's a 22-inch bass drum. Now, we can talk about different musical styles and you know different sizes of bass drums for different musical styles, but for the most part, your standard first-time drum set is going to have a 22-inch bass drum. And like I said, that's a big drum. That's a big drum head. So there's going to be a lot of resonation inside that drum. And it's really going to be really boomy. Now, a lot of people try to muffle the drum. And over the years, I've seen people do a lot of different things. I've seen, you know, people put pillows in the drums. I've seen people put foam in the bottom of the drums, towels. Um, I saw a guy one time, he filled up his bass drum about half full with those little styrofoam balls that you get from a fast food restaurant or a gas station that goes on your antenna. I can't imagine it sounding very good, but that's what he did. At any rate, people come up with different things to, you know, dampen the bass drum. And I don't really like that. And this is just my personal opinion. I don't like to put anything inside my bass drum because it changes, in my opinion, the sound of the instrument. I want the head to be muffled, and this muffling ring is built onto the head. My opinion is that if you put it, something inside the drum, like I said, you're kind of dampening the drum and, and changing the, the characteristics of the shell. Uh, I always use the analogy, you know, you wouldn't have a guitar player friend that goes out and buys a really nice Martin or Guild acoustic guitar and think, you know, man, this, this guitar just is resonating too much. I better shove a pillow in the sound hole and kill some of the resonation. It's, you know, it's not going to happen. And a drum is a musical instrument. I want to hear the instrument. So with this particular head, it allows me to do that. I can just tune the drum up and get a nice warm thud out of it. And it's nice and dampened without putting anything inside the drum. 